Welcome, it's great to have you with me for the IELTS. My name is Steve and I'll be guiding you through our discussion. In today's lesson, we'll be talking about speech intelligibility. Speech intelligibility measures the clarity and comprehensibility of your speech and it is affected by how vowels and consonants are properly articulated. Mispronouncing words may also change the meaning of sentences and affect your grammar score. Pronunciation is a skill that can be developed through practice and hard work. Here are some ways to get a better score in this criterion. First, learn the phonetic symbols and their corresponding sounds. It is only natural to find sounds that do not exist in your first language or are said differently and are difficult to pronounce. So concentrate on the sounds you're having difficulty with. In general, non-native speakers have difficulty with the sounds of L, R, S, Z, TH, V and some vowel sounds. Most unstressed vowel sounds are pronounced with a schwa sound and native speakers use this sound very often. Learn how this sound is pronounced and use it since this will improve your pronunciation. You can use either British English or American English accent when speaking. These two have differences in vowel and consonant articulation. The word stresses in these two accents also differ, so be careful with what to use. It's better to use the accent you are familiar with for better speech intelligibility. Here is a list of American English phonetics along with their corresponding symbols and examples. In the American English phonetics there are 15 vowel sounds and 24 consonant sounds. In British English there are 20 vowel sounds and 24 consonant sounds. Focus on the proper position of the tongue and mouth when producing these individual sounds. Keep practicing making these sounds until you're comfortable pronouncing them. The next step is to apply them to words and sentences. Record your speech and check if you pronounce them clearly and correctly. That's it for now. Practice often and follow the tips and guidelines given in this lesson. Good luck!